So what the mouse is doing here right now is try to uh, explore the maze, right? It's try to get as many data as possible, see where is the walls, where is the opening. Then once you come to the junction, the mouse has to make a decision whether to move forward or make a turn. So you can see this mouse actually do self-correction after you move to a new square. So you try to move backward and move forward to try to adjust itself back to the center of the square. And they try to. You're going to end up doing the whole loop again. Shit. It's going to backtrack through the whole loop. Is it? Yeah. Oh. Uh, why did it do that? Uh, because it know, knew that it had already been to that point. Uh, and so now it's going back to the last point it had to make a decision. Uh, and it does that by backtracking. This is, this, uh, yeah. It's a very clever maze. <laughs> no, no, it's designed to sort of hurt various algorithms. And it's definitely doing that to this one. However, they have the benefit of uh, their, the robot remembers. Oh. How to go? Oh, so, it'll, so it should only. So it avoided that block. Assuming this one works, then in the future it will not even try going here. So there's, there's some thinking behind why I designed this maze uh, configuration. You can see that there's two possible paths from the starting square to the center of the maze. Right? You can see that this mouse actually fall into my track. It's go right in there and spend about almost three minutes to try to figure out finally that possible the entrance to the center of the maze over that side. Thank you. 
sometimes when you use a flash to take a picture, you are allowed to take a picture, but the flash sometimes may be interrupt the infrared sensor. Alright, so try to take a picture without flash. Stay is going to make it, right? So they use up the 10 minutes time, but we still allow the mouse to run, right? So this might be the, uh, the best uh, time uh, I'm <laughs> 